What is going on everyone out there in YouTube land today? We are checking out, yes, you guessed it, a air purifier. Now, I've done quite a few air purifiers here on the channel, and I know it's a vape channel, but the reason for it is because if you're a vapor or a smoker, uh, one of the best things to have in your house or office or wherever you vape is an air purifier because it clears the air. Um, it's nice for people that don't vape who live with a vapor, or even if you're a vapor, it's really annoying to have your room filled up with clouds. So having an air purifier on your desk, in your room, always the best thing. And I think that's kind of the reason why I've been doing a lot of air purifier videos over the past couple of years or so. So today is a pretty awesome one. This one's coming from a company called Calado, K-A-L-A-D-O, I believe. Uh, the KCA01. This is a Wi-Fi enabled HEPA uh, 1300 square foot air purifier with a nice little array of features to it. One being, of course, it's Wi-Fi. So um, you can control this thing with your phone and there's actually a little QR code here on the back, on the box. All you're gonna do is scan that with the camera on your phone and that will take you to the app store so you could download the correct app. So they kind of make it, you know, stupid simple. When I broke into this, I didn't even read the manual. I have not even read the manual on this. I like to do that because A, I don't have the attention span of reading a manual, and B, if I can kind of uh, use it and control it without having to read the manual, then chances are anybody can use this. So anyways, uh, these are on Amazon or you can buy them directly from their site. How much are they? They are currently 119 on Amazon. If you got Amazon Prime, of course you could you know get free shipping. Or you can go to the website. I got my little iPad here in front of me, the Collado.com. I'll have the link in the description. This is not a vaping product, so I can promote it. Leave, I can use links. I can do whatever I want. And YouTube can't do nothing. So there's the box, all right? For those out there that really care what the box looks like. I guess these are, what, some specs on the box right there. So have a look if you want. But we're going to go through all those specs right now. And since... I'm so lazy, I don't think I'm st gonna stand in this video. We're gonna sit the entire time. I might do a little bit of this. Uh, you know what, I'll stand, what the hell. So, here is da -da -da -da, a little manual. If you know how to read, be my guest, go ahead and read it. And then, we got some foam. Something fell, I think that was the power cable. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the air purifier, there it is. Don't forget the power cable is also uh, in the box, so don't throw that out. Nice long uh, power adapter. And if we rip this open, this is actually a pretty sweet looking air purifier. It's not hideous looking, it looks kind of, it looks stylish. So if you put it in the living room or something like that, I know sometimes people get a little anal about putting weird stuff in their fancy living rooms, but something like this actually looks Look at that, this actually looks really nice. This is gonna be the LCD screen right there, which is nice, got all the readings. And should we go over some specs really quick before we even dive into it? What the hell? Uh, no sense in hiding my iPad because people already know I'm uh, reading the specs from my little fake teleprompter. So, the filters on this, I'm not sure of the price, but you could purchase those on Amazon also. These take two filters, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing is, Two filters just means like double the filtration. The bad thing is you gotta purchase two of them. I think they're sold in pairs, but I could be wrong. I'll find out. So 99.97 purification rate, uh, uses an H13 HEPA filter, along with a primary filter and a carbon activated filter. So it's gonna get rid of odors and all the other good stuff. Uh, it cleans a room up to 350 square feet within 18 minutes. It'll do a 1,300 square foot room in one hour. This does support Alexa. Ooh, nice. So you can tell Alexa to turn on your air purifier, or you can use your iPhone, Android, so on. The purifier is equipped with a unique LED screen, which is right here. We'll see in a moment. That's my washer going off. I wish Alexa had control over that. Uh, the two modes. It has auto mode with a particle sensor that monitors the PM 2.5 content in the room, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. And it has a night mode, which uh, gets quieter and it turns off and it has an awesome LED light. 
that lights up from the bottom of it. Rather than have this light here at the top that kind of flashes at your ceiling, this one kind of lights up the floor. It looks really sweet. And what else? Um, 360 dimensional air circulation input, blah, 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 blah. No idea. And then I put on here, because I measured it, I put it's 12 feet tall. This obviously is not 12 feet tall. It's 12 inches tall. It's a foot tall, so not that big. You know, before we plug it in, make sure that you remove the filters. So the filters are always wrapped in plastic. So if you turn this thing on without removing the filters, uh, nothing's gonna happen. You might actually damage the unit because here they are wrapped in plastic. And yeah, there's not much more to say other than they're wrapped in plastic. Everything with this is wrapped in plastic, which is kind of nice, I guess. All right, so here's one filter now. Just to make sure, okay, there we go. The charcoal part of the filter goes in towards the inside. The filter goes on the outside. Charcoal, uh, there's a regular filter, and then there's the HEPA. So there's three filters. There's two filters with three filters. So technically, what's that? Six filters, I think? Yeah, it is. Now, once those are unwrapped, you take this cover. Nice tight seal so the air is not going to leak out. And you got this little locking dial right there. See this little thing right here? I don't know what that is, but it's something. I think it's a sensor to let the machine know that you're changing the filter out. Line up that sensor with the sensor right there on the unit. And I'm assuming if I read the instructions, I would know that, but we don't read instructions here. Now, turn it, lock it into place. Select your desired location. You can even put one of these in the bathroom if it gets pretty nasty in there since it has those charcoal filters. Before we plug it in, let's run through the exterior real quick. We got the LCD screen here at the top. It's got two vents. It's gonna pull in from the sides and it's gonna output from the top. On the back, uh, all we got pretty much is where you connect your power adapter. We got this little port, which I think that's where the beeping sound comes from um, when, you, when it beeps. Got the brand at the bottom, just got your you know model number and all that. The Password for the Wi-Fi, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that's really hard to remember. And other than that, I mean, you know, we got your touch buttons here at the top. These are gonna be, once again, all touch. The, the button itself doesn't light up, but there are little tiny LED lights above the button. So that way we can kind of see it in the dark, but I prefer using the app. It just, you could see everything you're doing. Anyways, uh, we got the, what do we got here? We got the power button. We got the fan speed, which there's five different speeds. We got a timer mode. We got a sleep mode, which kind of quiets it down, puts it on a low setting. We got the light on off. There's three different brightness settings for the light. The timer, if I didn't already mention that. And then we have the Wi-Fi connect button. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. And I think that's it. So with that said, let's plug this bad boy in and get a look at that LCD screen. Woo, here we go. Look at that. Now it does give you a reading of the air quality um, throughout the time it's on. So when it first turns on, you know, it's reading the air quality right now. And you'll notice that when I start vaping, and I'll show you this in a moment, the air quality just jumps. It goes insanely high and then it kind of lowers. So you can kind of see that this thing is doing something or it's, it's reading something to where it recognizes the vapor. So if you guys, can you guys see the, here we go. Look at the LED light here at the bottom that I've been ranting on, ranting and raving about. Look at that, that is so sweet. You guys can't see it because it's way too bright. There we go, you can kind of see it. But in a dark room, when it's slid up on the bottom, it just looks super cool. This looks really awesome. So you got three power settings and of course off. I think it's, I think that's the, like the coolest feature on this thing, but. So the fan speeds right here, it's currently on low and it's gonna show you everything here on the main screen. Um, so when you're adjusting your fan, it's gonna show you the little bars. You can kind of see them going up right now. And that's low, that's setting one. Setting two, if you can hear it. Uh, setting three, I believe, right? Yeah. Four. Three and four are very similar. And then five, which is the loudest and the strongest it is, that's maximum right there. And it's not really that loud. It's like a box fan on low. Um, it does pump out the air. Like, this is really strong. 
probably one of the strongest air purifiers. I'm not going to say one of the strongest, but it is pretty strong. And it's got to have a big beefy fan inside of there because remember, there's two filters on this. So it's got to pump pretty hard or suck pretty hard, hint, hint, uh, in order to pull the air through those two large filters. So I'm going to have a vape, and usually when you vape, you don't blow the vapor directly at it. I mean, you can, that you're going to get the best results if you're vaping or smoking and you're blowing it directly at the unit, but people, it doesn't work, really work like that because this is usually sitting in a corner of a room or wherever the case may be, so you don't necessarily have to blow the vapor or the smoke directly at it. It's still going to work. It's still going to do its thing. It's just not going to be like a, like a big visual like I'm going to do right now. So if you check out the screen on here, watch that meter just go crazy when I blow vapor into it. Sucks up all the vapor, as you can see, and check that out. Watch, bam, it just maxes out, and then it slowly starts to drop down. By the way, I don't have any juice in this. Um, I might want to put juice in it, or we might have a forest fire. But you can see, I, I'm guessing as it's cleaning the air, um, you know, that's dropping down. It's like the PM 2.5. I have no idea what it is. I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably know, and they feel like they're smarter than me, and they probably are, but it doesn't really matter right now. One thing I truly like about this thing is the fact that it has Wi-Fi. So... You can control this with your phone, and also if you have an Alexa, you can control it with Alexa. Now, I haven't done the Alexa thing because when it comes to using Alexa, I am, like, stuck in the past. I still have a hard time connecting devices with Alexa. So we're not going to go that route, but what we will do is connect it over Wi-Fi. Well, I kind of already did that. It's pretty easy. You scan the QR code on the back of the box. It brings you to the App Store. You download the app. Then what you do, you look for the the LED light button right here, okay? Press that and hold it down for three seconds. You're gonna hear a very faint beep. Like it's almost hard to hear. You'll see the little Wi-Fi symbol on the screen start flashing. Once you do that, you're gonna grab the app, you're gonna open it up, you're gonna click on the plus sign at the top right, you'll select appliances, you'll select the air purifier, You'll enter your Wi-Fi uh, information, takes about 20 seconds, it connects, and then once it connects, uh, it'll be displayed on, on your phone. So I think when you unplug the device, it may lose... Wow, that's kind of weird. So if you unplug the unit after you've connected it to Wi-Fi, I think it's going to lose, like it's going to forget the device. But it automatically picks it up, says, hey, is this your unit? I click yes, and then it wants me to name it again. So it wants me to go through the process again. So I guess if you ever plan on unplugging this from the wall and it loses complete power, keep in mind, you could still shut it off here from the top, but if you unplug it from the wall, you're going to have to redo uh, the sync process with your app, which is eh, kind of a crappy thing, but... Um, it is what it is, I guess. Anything that you can do here on the panel, you could do on here. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty nice. Turn it off. But like I said, the only downer is if you happen to unplug it, you're going to go through the process again. But not really a deal breaker for me. But awesome little unit. I mean, it looks good. It works. It's running on two HEPA filters, so it's going to be pumping out really clean air. It's got the little LCD readout screen. The controls are pretty easy and self-explanatory. I don't need to read the menu. It has an awesome LED light here at the bottom. And if you don't like lights, you could turn it off. There's not really much more to ask for an air purifier. And once again, I like the fact that it pulls in from both sides and exits out through the top. But uh, yeah, awesome air purifier. If you're a smoker, vapor, or even if you don't smoke or vape, and you just want to clean the air in your house, or get rid of nasty odors. Check this bad boy out. Link will be in the description. That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, give it a thumbs up anyways. And I'll see you all on the next one. I'm not going to tell you guys to build safe, but I will tell you to vape on.